I'm Dev, and here at Us2, we've been working with the new digital team at Lush, an ethical cosmetics company, to help them make their first piece of software. Lush wants something through which customers can not only buy their cosmetics, but learn about the provenance of their ingredients and their environmental activism and so on. Lovely stuff. So when we started the project, Lush and Us2 had a quick discussion about the tools that we'd use, and we decided to try Sketch out for a month or so. Uh, since we'd all heard good things about it for interface design. So I've been using Sketch for about three months, and I'm going to give you a rundown of what I've found. So in this demo, I'm going to be showing you a small part of our day-to-day -day process using a shopping basket as an example. So let's take a look. The first thing I'm going to do is draw an artboard and rename it Shopping Basket. So I want to zero it, and I want to set the size to mirror the size of an iPhone 6 in this case is what we're going to use as our default. Once we've got an artboard set up, which is a single screen of the app if you like, I'm going to get a little bit of background artwork in. Uh, and you can see here that I've got a shopping basket toggle with two items inside the shopping basket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a tray over the top. Get rid of borders, set the fill colour for the tray as white, nice white background. Get the size at about 660 pixels, so you know, three quarters of the screen, say. Get that aligned to the right hand side. What we're trying to do is mirror the way that Lush's website looks at the moment, the way that their tray comes in and out from the right hand side and is toggled by a shopping basket button. So I'm going to move on and I'm going to carry on getting stuff blocked in, simple rectangles one on top of the other. They're all going to sit inside a group called tray. The next thing I want to do is get a little status bar in just to check that we're good, the contrast ratio is okay, and that things are going to sit on the screen well, that everything is vertically spaced nicely. What you might have noticed is that I've been using symbols. You can see here a symbol for a button, a symbol for a back icon. Everything that you create in Sketch that you might like to reuse, you can create as a symbol. In doing so, it sticks there in its correct width and height dimensions. Really, really, really useful. I do it for a lot of stuff. Uh, so next thing I'm doing is I'm drawing a shell that is going to become our product image, a thumbnail if you like. I'm going to go and grab some artwork for that in a sec. So this is our first product inside our shopping basket. Just going to check my grid, which comes for free in Sketch. Make sure that everything's lined up nicely. For the iPhone 6, we're using increments of 30 pixels for spacing, so 30, 60, so forth. Another fantastic thing that Sketch has, type styles, paragraph styles, same as in InDesign. Uh, so here I've got type sizes that I'm reusing from other artwork that I've created for other areas of the app. I'm not having to reinvent the wheel every single time I start a new design. I'm not having to remember type sizes that I've been using and so forth. They get locked in and I can reuse them as styles. So the next thing to do is grab a piece of artwork for our ocean salt face scrub. I want to get this sized up roughly similar to the shell that I drew earlier. Bring that down to sit on top of the rectangle that's creating the mask and use as mask. So this shell is now constricting what you can see and I've got something that's neatly sitting inside it. We'll come back to that product image later because we're going to create that as an asset. A little bit more type layout using some more character styles that I've created previously. I'm going to put in a product descriptor and pricing. In true Blue Peter style, I'm going to leap forward a little bit. So here is our completed layout. We've got 
pricing, we've got a couple of products, and this is how the tray is going to toggle in and out with our button. So the next thing I thought I'd show you is how to turn one of these thumbnails, these placeholder images, into an asset. It's very, very, very easy in Sketch. You can keep everything together neatly. So I've created a new artboard. I'm going to name it up. And that artboard wants to be the size that you need the asset to go out at. So I'm going to go 120 by 120. The product image is sat inside the artboard and centered. And there's an export panel on the right here. I want two assets for modern iPhone designs. I want an at 2x and an at 3x. The at 3x asset is one and a half times the size of the at 2x asset. Hope I haven't blown your brains. So I'm going to save that asset into a folder. And the very next thing that we all of us should be doing, good interface designers, is optimizing, compressing our imagery. So if I go into my folder, I find the two images that I've just created. I just want to run them through. Image Optim is my weapon of choice. Love it. And then I'm going to push this up to Git. So I've got a pre-existing repository where I want to place all of my image assets for the app that we're creating. I'm going to add these new images in. I'm going to commit them. I'm going to push them up to Git. Done. Very, very fast. And I'll just show you now quickly that they are on Git. Easy as you like. I'm going to refresh this page and you see, there we go. Those thumbnail images are now in there. So from Sketch, straight onto Git in 30 seconds. That's our workflow for the whole app. So that means that we can push up to Git as a team remotely, whether it's the guys at Lush, Adam, or whether it's myself. We're probably pushing up to 10 times a day with minor alterations to images or brand new images. We push image assets. We push specification documents. We push um, anything that the developers might need. All on Git, all versioned all ready for them to integrate whenever they have time to. So that's it for now. Thanks very much, and I'd encourage you to give it a try when you can.